Hi, it's Corrine for Knitwit Collections, and today I have a completed mini album to share with you using one of the new collections from Knitwit Collections called Wolf. It is an adorable collection. If you are a dog lover or know somebody who is, this is a must-have collection. It is so cute. Wait till you see all the elements in it. This is a digital kit. I'll have a video in the description box showing a little bit more about how I use my digital kits. If you've never worked with digital before, that may answer some questions for you. And I do also have a mostly start to finish on this album. I couldn't do the full start to finish. It would have been way too long of a video. But for those of you that like to watch some of the process, I will play that here in just a moment. So let me go ahead and do a quick flip through and check the description box for all the links to Knitway Collections. I'll put their YouTube, their store, and a link to this paper collection that I use. And if you subscribe to their YouTube channel, they do some tutorials on there. They also, when they come out with a new kit, they go through the entire kit and show you exactly what you get in the kit. So the kit I'm using today is the bundled collection, which when you purchase the bundled collection, as opposed to buying each separate piece of the collection, it'll save you 20%. So here's the front. It's all just um, one dimension. I did two different colors of their pattern papers here. And then this is an element, this is a digital uh, stamp, and then one of the elements, and then I just printed it out. I didn't want any dimension on the front of this album, but you could separately cut these pieces out and have them as dimension. So I use this adorable basset on the front, a bow from the collection, and then I used a, a wonky scallop edge that I have um, cut from the Cameo added the pattern paper to the center. And then this is a digital stamp. It says, this home is filled with kisses, wagging tails, wet noses, and love. And then these really cute paw prints. This album is eight and a half by five and three quarters. Added some trim to the side. And here's from the back, another digital stamp. On the front he reminds me this is our basset hound when she was a puppy completely reminds me of of our puppy or she's not a puppy anymore she's nine and a half but she reminds me of our daisy i did spray the entire um outside actually the pages as well with mod podge matte clear acrylic spray it just helps to seal the papers i take it outside and just spray it the front and back covers i give it like three coats the inside i just quickly coated it. So on the front cover here, I have this scallop um, waterfall page here with all different pattern papers. I did score it so it can be bent and photos or journaling can be placed in here. I don't want to bend it now, but it can be um, folded over so photos can be added. And then I did the same to every page. I did a brown, this is made out of a brown cardstock from Michaels, uh, Recollections cardstock. So I did a brown mat in three and a half square, and then I did a pattern piece that is three and a quarter square, which will hold a three by three photo. So on the front here, I used one of the labels from the kit. It says, first I stole your heart, then I stole your bed. I used some paw prints here. They're, they're left open so the photo can slide all the way to the edge there. And then I used one of these adorable paint chips that come in all their collections. It says, this house is not a home without a dog. And I truly believe that. Look at this adorable puppy. I did um, put some dimension on him. And then in my cameo, I, I added a scallop edged mat. These will hold easily five by seven photos or journaling. All the pockets are the same uh, pull-out mat, so I won't pull all of those out. On this side, another, again, I did photo mats on all the regular pages. These are some of the strips of paper from the collection, so I added those on there. Uh, a little dog tag that says, I heart my dog. I added some enamel dots, more of the paw prints, and then this puppy kisses comes in the collection as well. And then I did add three flip out pages. So on the front of the pages, I added something different than what I did here to the rest of the book. So I added this collection of their dogs and it says some of my very best friends are furry, a little heart here. And then these are magnetized, opens up to the 
three by three photo spot and then a tag that says dogs never lie about love. I added a bow here. And then this here is a digital stamp that I added with the little puppy into the uh, dog house. A little journaling spot of a bone here. And then another little label or banner shape that says I heart you with the paw print. Such a cute collection. On this side, this reminds me of our little Bella. We have a little Dotson, and I don't have a picture here to show you, but it looks like our Bella as well, coincidentally. So here again, our photo mat, I have a little bone, and then this is a digital stamp that says, I will love you unconditionally with my whole heart for my whole life. Note from your dog. So I just added that onto the paper and printed that out. Look at the shading in that puppy. That, oh, it's so cute. Look at the eyes. So super cute. So on this side, I popped this little um, journaling spot up. It says, my pure friend, or excuse me, my true friend, why I love you so much. I added some graphic 45 ribbon that I had in my stash. This adorable little guy right here. Again, look at the shading and the coloring on them. I think they're just so cute. So I have another little spot here. It says paw prints on my heart, some enamel dots. On this side, I left part of the heart open so the photo can slide right behind it. And then this little guy is holding a sign that says dogs are not our whole life, but they make our lives whole. And then this also is a flip pocket. So on this side, this comes in the elements. I just made a little pocket out of it, put two little journaling cards. This one I backed on the same brown cardstock. It says my best friend. This flips open for the photo mat. This adorable guy here along with another little dog tag and a smaller enamel dot. On this side I made a little pocket with this little guy from the um, elements with a few journaling tags. And then here's the little journaling spot for puppy love. It, you can put down the date, name, birthday, weight, and moments from that first day, which I think is such a great idea. And then I, here's the little journaling card here. On this side, I added just three of the buttons from the collection along with this large bow, and it's left open in the center so the photo can slide down behind the bow. Again, another little bone, it's left open so the photo can slide three of the dog tags. Same on this one, I left it open to slide down and then look at this little guy here, it says beware of dog kisses. And that's especially so true with Bassets, they're very, very loving dogs. I added a couple of the labels, I just cut them down and cut this one into a banner shape along with some enamel dots. On this side, look at this little guy, so cute. I added a digital stamp to the stop, excuse me, to the top. It says, imagine what a beautiful world it would be if people had hearts like dogs. Great sayings that come in this collection. This is a border strip that came in this. I just sized it to the height that I needed for my page, added a little dog tag. This here is a, a ribbon strip that comes in the collection and the bow. I just added those to the paper before printing it out trying to keep this very non-dimensional. Here's some more journaling tags. A little photo can be placed in here. And then another bone for a little, um, great for dates or journaling. This one flips open. We have the photo mat here. This is a cluster that already comes together. I added some more of those um, ribbon strips and a large banner tag here. On this side, I have the bone left open so the photo can slide behind and the little paw prints. So super cute. This guy um, is, is a, uh, inspired by their dog, their golden retrievers that they have. Adorable, love the shading, the little dog tag, the blue collar, I love this. And then again, I added another little label strip, some more enamel dots, another bow. 
On this side, this already comes together with lines on it, so it's perfect for journaling. As you can see, it says Puppy Tails, and it's more of that Graphic 45 ribbon trim. Again, a little pug, so cute. I added some hearts that come in the collection and, and an, a few enamel dots. And on my last page, again, this completely came clustered, so it's just super easy to put together. Added a larger, this will hold a five by five photo and a few enamel dots. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through. If you do wanna watch some of the process, I will play that now. And check the description box for more information stop by Knitwit Collections and check out all their amazing products that they have. Thanks so much for watching.